Hi everybody, Scotty Brown here for RootsWiki.com and Super User TV. Today I'm going to be looking at Milestone 5 of AOKP by Team Kang. They just released it this weekend and I'm going to give you a quick rundown on this HTC Sensation Forge. <laughs> Okay, so let's start off first with running a quadrant. I, I've actually want to show you the results here. And uh, you can see that my quadrant score was actually quite good. I, I've seen worse, but I've, I, I haven't seen too much better. Occasionally I do, but I think that's a pretty decent quadrant score for, for this device. Uh, let's get back into the meat and potatoes of things. One of the first things you may notice is the amazingly awesome live wallpaper that comes with this ROM. This is uh, unicorn porn. Honestly can't think of a better live wallpaper to have on my device when I hand it over to somebody to check out. Uh, the ROM itself is is so smooth. It's uh, I would say that this would be Paula Deen's favorite ROM because it's like butter. It is so smooth, easy to operate. There's no lag flipping between screens. Uh, everything just moves like it should. It's pretty nice. As you can see, I'm a bit of a minimalist when it comes to my uh, desktop home screen area. I like to keep my most important used uh, apps here in my little awesome folder. Uh, but otherwise, besides a calendar and a clock widget, everything is pretty much uh, stock. So let's, uh, or excuse me, is pretty much bare. So let's get into ROM control in the system settings. First off, we'll go into about phone here. This is an ICS build based on 4.0.4. .4. There's the baseband, the kernel, the build number, AOKP milestone five for the HTC pyramid. Uh, let's see, let's start up here in ROM control. Uh, about AOKP, there's all of their PayPal links, so you can donate to the amazingly awesome developers who have worked really hard to bring us this ROM. We've got a link to the website, to the source code, and their IRC channel. Let's hit some of the UI features. Uh, UI features are, are ample. Uh, pretty much that's where I've spent the most of my time has been in the UI, customizing it to how I like it, which really is isn't far off from AOSP. I, I like a very stock experience. I'm not a fan of third-party UIs like TouchWiz or Sense or uh, uh, I can't believe it's not Motoblur. I pretty much like to keep it as, as AOSP as possible. Uh, there is a really interesting boot animation uh, when you load up your phone for the first time with this ROM. Uh, you do have an option to disable it, however you're called a dirty name if you do. I leave it on, whatever. Uh, it doesn't hurt me much. Uh, you can turn off the bug mailer. You can allow 180 degree rotation, which allows the phone to be uh, rotated upside down, but the screen still stays uh, correct side up in relation to the viewer. Uh, there is a quick app uh, selector here. Uh, the horizontal recents window uh, is very similar to, uh, to the old WebOS kind of picker. It's, uh, it's left and right uh, versus, I'll go back, versus the honeycomb slash ICS app picker, which is vertical up and down. That's kind of the one I like. That works best for me. You can change your LCD density if you'd like. I tend to keep mine at, at the stock 240. Uh, that's what works best on this phone. I've heard that if you mess with that too much, then uh, you get some pretty funky uh, responses, so use at your own risk. All sorts of other stuff. You can change the custom carrier label that's found right there where it says T-Mobile in the drop down. You can change that to anything you'd like. I have yet to do that. Uh, and then of course you can uh, change what happens when you hit the uh, long press on home. Uh, when I do it brings up my app switcher like that. Uh, there you can also change the the time and the rotation delay when you when you when you rotate the phone horizontally how long it takes to have the screen flip over as well again that's not a feature that I've that I use I like to try and keep my phone in portrait mode pretty much as as much as I can you can fully customize the navigation bar uh, I do not have it enabled I I don't use it so uh, however there are many features if you do decide to enable it where you can change the color uh, change the nav buttons uh, to, to suit your needs best change the transparency, the width, the height, it's all there. 
go into the lock screen. Lots of different lock screen options. You can choose the wallpaper that you'd like to use with the lock screen, change the text color. There's different types of lock screens. Uh, I currently have it on Honeycomb, but you can put it on AOSP, Stock, Quad, Octo. There's all sorts of options there. Uh, Honeycomb just seems to work best for me. It's pretty, pretty simple and easy to use. Uh, battery percentage on your lock screen, weather on your lock screen, uh, volume wake, so that when you hit one of the volume buttons on the side of the phone, it turns the uh, wakes the screen up, music controls. Uh, I have calendar. I have my calendar on my lock screen. It's all there. You can change the sources for the calendar and uh, use the calendar native colors uh, from, from GCal. Uh, Fast Torch is a pretty nice little feature. So uh, when your screen is off, uh, you can simply hold down the power button for a couple seconds and then it lights up the LEDs on the back of the phone so you have quick access to a flashlight and then you just release the power button and it'll it'll turn off. So set your security codes if you'd like and then a couple custom apps. Power menu options. Uh, this is when you uh, hold down the power button, the pop-up that comes up, power off, reboot, power saver mode, screenshot, and then a, a flashlight again. Uh, you can select, like I turned off the power saver, and so it's gone from the menu. You can select what you'd like to show up there. Uh, show airplane mode toggle, now that's there. So that's pretty much how I like to keep mine. Uh, weather options, this ROM has a bunch of different weather options built into it. I've got my weather set by my custom location, which is essentially my GPS or Wi-Fi location. Uh, you can change it to metric, refresh interval, it's all there. Functionality, power saver, I can select power saver and uh, these are the options that uh, tell the phone what to do to, in order to help save your battery. Uh, everything from screen off Wi-Fi, so when the screen goes off, what to do with the Wi-Fi connection. Uh, I leave mine how it is, So, because uh, I'm on my Wi-Fi most of the time while I'm at home during the day. Uh, so uh, there's all sorts of features you can do there to help save your uh, to help to help battery life. Uh, I've honestly found that these builds have had pretty decent battery life. I easily get uh, 12 to 14 hours of battery with three hours of screen on time. Uh, that's that's been that's been really well. One of the highlights of this ROM. LED options. You can change the pulse duration, the color. Uh, remember, these will all likely be overridden by any applications that you install, like. Uh, if you use Twitter or Hootsuite or whatnot, uh, the notification uh, LED color will be set in that app. It'll override the default right here. Uh, status bar. Uh, this is something you can completely and totally customize however you would like. Uh, th there's a lot of nice little features here uh, from the hitting the, the settings up there. Uh, to these different toggles that are on. Uh, I've used Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, Rotate, and then of course there's my swagger. i got to turn my swagger on because that's how I roll. You can choose those, uh, you can choose those uh, toggles as well, which, what you want to show up and what you don't want to show up. Brightness control, USB debugging when you plug it into USB. It's all there. Transparency. There we go. Here's the toggles. Shows you what uh, what kind of toggles you can have up in this in the drop down. See, I've got my Swagger, Wi-Fi. You know what? I don't really use GPS or Bluetooth that often. I will leave GPS on. So now you can see that uh, then now there's uh, the Bluetooth toggle is gone. So, and then uh, you can change the style that you like. Uh, yeah, all sorts of good stuff for the toggles. The clock, the clock can be customizable as well. Uh, I've currently got it on the right side. You can move it to the center if you'd like. I tend to keep mine on the right. You can add AM, PM to it if you'd like. I, I typically know, you know, if it's 103 AM or 103 PM. You can add the day of the week if you'd like. There's that. That's cool. I know what day it is. You can change the color of the clock. It's currently by default set to the ICS blue and then whether or not uh, you want your alarm icon to show up. Battery mods, a lot of similar stuff here. Uh, I've currently got it set to circle mod, uh, but you can change it uh, to many different types of, uh, you know, different icons, icon only. I think circle mod's kind of cool, so I leave it on there. Uh, the battery bar, uh, this is for, I believe it's the MIUI battery indicator. 
not a big really a big fan of that so I, I don't use it so I've got my little circle mod up there signal strength again you can pretty much customize this as much as you want negative uh, 107 decibels <laughs> I get bad bad signal strength uh, at my house I just show the bars for myself that's works you can do the same thing with your with your Wi-Fi but that works for me and again you can change the colors if you'd like they're set to uh, ICS blue by default uh, performance tools and you've got uh, overclocking options here I've currently got mine all the way overclocked because I'm recording this video probably watch the battery drain as we're doing it too max and minimum set it at boot uh, all sorts of really interesting things so you can change the cache size so that uh, the, the, the scrolling cache uh, if you're having some lag which I have yet to experience on this device fast charge when you plug your phone in, it charges your phone faster. Uh, apparently that, uh, uh, I, I guess it works or else it wouldn't be there. I just flashed this ROM last night and then uh, charged it up to 100% overnight and then started using it today. So uh, I haven't had a chance to really test that. I'll test it tonight though. Uh, startup tweaks. So uh, anything you want to run when you first boot up your phone, things that you would normally have to do through recovery like fish, fix permissions or clear the cache, uh, all available right here to automatically run when you start up your phone. So that's all the stuff in ROM control. Let's look, uh, let's look at some of the wallpapers that come with this too. Uh, there's a nice little selection of unicorn and rainbow flavored uh, wallpapers. There's bug droid spelling out A-O-K-P. Took me a while to figure out what that was because it, I don't know, I had no idea what they were doing, but yeah. Yeah, there's President Obama. He likes his unicorn there. The AOKP Team Kane guys, they just they got this fascination with unicorns and rainbows. I'll leave that up to you what you want to make of that. Let's see, one more thing I want to look at is battery usage. So uh, I've been on this for eight hours, it's at 46%, and I've had over two hours of screen time. And that's also with uh, with the overclocking and uh, the, the program I use, the app that I use to record my screen for these reviews has ran for, oh, it, it's, it's ran quite a bit today. So uh, it, it's, it's definitely used a lot of the battery and the processor, but the battery, battery life is, is actually very, very good on this. So uh, this is, uh, again, this is Milestone 5 for AOKP by Team King on my Sensation 4G. If you want to give it a shot, Head on over to the forums over at rootswiki.com and look in the, the uh, Team Kang forum and you'll find it there. Download it, install it. I highly, highly recommend before you flash this ROM that you do a full wipe. Wipe the Dalvik, uh, wipe your cache, uh, go back to, uh, uh, to set everything to default and then install, th then flash the ROM and flash the G apps. You'll get a much better, smoother experience and less likely to get bugs. Uh, the, speaking of bugs, the only two bugs that we've been able to run across so far is 480p video recording doesn't work. However, 720 and 1080 do, uh, but, but for, excuse me, 480 doesn't. And uh, also, I guess, uh, USB tether isn't working either. I haven't had a chance to test that because uh, I, I, it's just not a feature that I use. So, yeah, uh, shout goes out to the Team King guys, man. They've made a great ROM. It's smooth. It's beautiful. It works. Uh, congratulations on reaching Stone 5. I, I honestly can't think of too many other features I'd like to see baked into this ROM. Uh, maybe quiet hours would be a nice feature uh, so that the phone doesn't, doesn't uh, notify during certain hours of the night. Maybe one or two other things, but really, everything is here, and it, it, it's great. It works good. It's smooth. Like I said, this app is just, or this ROM is just fast. It's blazing fast on my device, and I, I'm loving it. So uh, make sure you give those guys a big thank you if you do flash the ROM. Throw them a donation. Buy them a beer. They'll appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so this is it. Uh, make sure you're checking out uh, Roots Live every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. That's our live weekly broadcast with me and the Roots Live gang. This week we are giving away a Transformer Prime live on the air, and you must be viewing to win. 
So you're going to want to check that out at rootslive.com. We've also just started a weekly podcast, excuse me, a daily podcast, Daily Roots. You can find it at blogtalkradio.com slash rootslive. Make sure you subscribe to that and uh, give me a follow. This video, leave any comments down below. I'd love to hear them. What did I leave out? What did I forget? What did I do right? What did I do wrong? Please like the video, share it with your friends. Uh, share it with your mom. I know your mom would like it. Come on. Your mom loves pink unicorns. Who doesn't like pink unicorns? All right, guys. Enjoy your day. Again, this is Scotty Brown for RootsWiki.com and Super User TV.